Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Unreal Engine crash with Multiverses game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart Steam. So you can go to Steam and then click on Exit Steam and then you can launch Steam once again and then you can check. Now, still not working. Verify the game files. Now this is important. So make a right click on the game, select properties and then go to installed files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files now once you very verify it it will repair some files and once that is done now you can launch the game and then check next step is to restart your computer simply restart your computer once and after the system restart try launching the game next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus just make sure that you allow the game exe file to antivirus program if you are using windows security then open windows settings go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 if you have windows 10 you will have an option update and security now click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection Scroll down at the end you will see manage ransom protection click on it now click on allow an app through controlled folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in C drive open C drive program files x86 now open the steam folder and then open the steam apps folder and then open the common folder now over here Open the game folder, select the game exe file, now click on open. Again click on add an allowed app and then click on browse all apps. And this time open this multi versus folder, binaries win64, select this exe file and then click on open. Once the game is added over here, now type in control panel in windows search box and then go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings on the top and then click on allow another app click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file and then click on open once the game is added now click on add in my case the game is already added again click on allow another app browse and then open multiverses folder binaries win64 select this exe file and then click on open and then click on add now once the game is added over here now click on ok on the bottom and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder so you can make a right click on the game select manage now click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder make a right click on the game exe file and then select properties go to the second tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator and then hit apply click on ok and then launch the game from here so just make a double click and try launching the game from here if that does not work again go to properties and then this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game still not working again go to properties and this time select windows 7 from the list select windows 7 and then hit apply click on ok launch the game from here still not working this time put a check on the box which says disabled full screen optimization and then hit apply click on ok and then make a double click launch the game still not working open this multi versus folder binaries win64 and do the same thing over here make a right click select properties and then put a check on run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work again select window put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok and then check if that does not work select windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check if that does not work put a check on disable full screen optimization and then hit apply click on ok and then launch the game from here still not working so when you put a check on all these boxes still the game is not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok and do the same thing with the first exe file so go back and then make a right click on this exe file select properties and then uncheck all these boxes so if if it's not working you can uncheck the and then follow the next step now the next step is to 
try DX12 or DX11 in launch option. So make a right click on the game, select properties, and then go to the launch option over here. And then type in dash DX12 and launch the game and then check. Now still not working. Again, make a right click and go to properties. And then this time type in dash DX11 over here and then launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to, no, so when you type in DX11 or DX12, still the game is not launching. In that case, you can remove this and follow the next step. Now the next step is to update Windows to the latest version. Now this is important, so go to Windows Update or Update in Security and then click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed, then restart your computer and then launch the game. Next is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA website, select the right product type. For me, it's GE Force. So select your product type and then select your series. For me, it's 30 series. So make sure that you select your series over here and then select your graphic card. Make sure that you select your graphic card. And if you have Windows 10, select Windows 10. If you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. Then click on search and then click on download. Again, click on download. And once the download is complete, run this exe file. Now, once you run the exe file, you will see the screen. Click on agree and continue. And then put a check on custom and then click on next. And then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. So make sure that you put a check over here and then click on next and let the installation complete. Once the installation is complete, restart your computer and then launch the game. Now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphics settings in Windows search box and then click on graphics settings. Now click on browse over here and then go to the game installation folder. So if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive, program file 686. Steam, Steam apps, and then open the game folder, select the game exe file, now click on add. Now in my case the game is already added, again click on browse, and then open multiverses, binaries, win64, select this exe file, and then click on add. Again the game is already added, so scroll down. Once the game is added, you have to click on the game. So when you click on add, you will see this. Now click on options and then select high performance over here and then click on save and then launch the game. Next step is to update BIOS to the latest version. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, make sure that you select your computer and then find the latest BIOS update available and then install the latest BIOS. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Also, in case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer. Next step is to disable Steam Overlay. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select properties, and then turn off the option which says enable the Steam Overlay while in game. Also, if you have any other overlay application, like if you have Discord running or GeForce Experience, so if you have any other overlay application, close it and then launch the game. Next step is to run this command. These commands are provided in the video description. So type in CMD in Windows search box, make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator and then click on yes to allow, paste the command over here, hit the enter key. Now run the second command, paste it, hit the enter key. Now run the third command, paste it, hit the enter key. Now once you are connected, now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to turn off VPN. So if you're using VPN, you can turn it off. If the VPN is already off, then you can turn on the VPN. So if you have any VPN, you can try both on and off and then check. Next step is to restart your router. So you can just shut down your router and then shut down your computer and then restart your computer and then restart your router and then connect to your internet and then check. 
next step is to delete the config file now for this open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data folder if you don't see app data on the top click on view select show and then put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder now open the local folder open multi versus folder save folder and over here you can see the config folder so when you delete the config folder all the settings saved settings will be lost so if you agree you can make a right click and then you can click on delete once config file is deleted now you can launch the game and then check next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website scroll down over here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 and then run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair you might see the install option so if you see install click on install if you see repair click on repair click on yes to allow now download x64 you have to download both x86 and x64 so click on this file and then once the download is complete run this exe file again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install option click on install now click on repair once again and click on yes to allow and let both the installation complete now once both the installation are complete then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not, not using so if you if these devices are connected you can disconnect these devices and then check if you have any additional controller connected to the computer disconnect it try launching the game on single monitor if you have any third party application or 
services running you can close it in the task manager also close all the overclocking applications so if you have msi afterburner riva tuner or any, any kind of overclocking application close it perform clean boot now for this type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration and then go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services make sure that you put a check on hide all microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then click on apply click on okay you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game also if you have underrouted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game next the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so if nothing is working you can simply make a right click on the game and then select manage then click on uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder and then reinstall the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive try in installing the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed in c drive then you can try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel